I'm leading a program on the research outlook on photovoltaics. The name of the program is Proof. We are at the very starting date of the photovoltaics, even though this technology exists for the past uh, 50 years. We are very far from the limit or the ultimate performances of uh, photovoltaics, uh, what we could expect, uh, what we could implement in terms of usages. And so the idea is to prepare this uh, desirable future. Specifically, in the labs, we will uh, prepare new materials and see what we need to implement as new functionalities, for instance, to prepare functional objects including photovoltaic uh, properties that can recharge themselves, such as uh, cars, self-charging batteries, products specially designed for uh, integration in buildings, and so on. So we have a lot of projects that aim at uh, uh, bringing the photovoltaic technology that are developed in the labs into a real object that everybody can enjoy. There are a lot of challenges. And so in the labs, we have to produce new materials with new functionalities that can really be integrated. So to make them, for instance, integrated into flexible or make them more durable or more efficient. So we have uh, different research uh, panels. All these devices are built on interfaces between different materials. And these are key to, on one hand, the stability and the reliability of the systems that they have to last for many years, but also to the performances. And we have to very selectively extract charges from materials and bringing them from the device into the load that has to be powered. So we have a program of research on uh, atomic layer deposition that is preparing materials control at the atomic level, layer by layer, to finely tune the, the performances and the properties and the functions of these uh, materials. We want to make uh, solar cells more sustainable, so we develop also new optical technologies that ena enable to reduce the total amount of uh, solar energy materials that we have to use in solar cells. We have also a line of program aiming at achieving the ultimate efficiencies of photovoltaics. We have now in the labs uh, efficiencies above 40% that have been demonstrated, but actually we know that it could be twice that. To get there, there are uh, a line of research that is uh, implemented in other programs at IPVF based on tandem solar cells, uh, where we try to use different, combining different materials, trying to get to higher efficiencies. The last program is really getting into the fundamentals of photovoltaics and seeing how we can get to the ultimate efficiency, say 80% of uh, conversion efficiency. And to get there, uh, we need to develop new concepts, uh, new characterization techniques. We need to develop uh, also a better understanding of all the microscopic uh, mechanisms that uh, we have in the device from the absorption of photons uh, into all the cascade of energies that come up until the moment where we can extract the charges. In this context, IPVF is a unique settings uh, that brings together all the partners, the stakeholders, and at the same time, we have an excellent platform of 4,000 square meters, where really with the up-to-date uh, tools, where we can develop all the research and we have all the means or the, what we need to, to do that.